All right, I just finished unwrapping these Corvettes with Brad. We have no issues to report. I'm gonna go through a quick little walk around on this Corvette um, and show you a little bit about it. This is VIN number 5840, if you wanna pause the screen. That is the specs on the vehicle. We went with a secondary color of red on this one, which you'll see in the Cross Flags logo. You'll see it in the bright red calipers. And then also on the seat belts on this one. This is a 1LT because they're gonna be tracking this one quite extensively. So there is a track package going on. And then they got the Trident spoke rims so that they could put their racing slicks on these tires. And then when they go onto the streets, they can just swap out and have their nice black Trident spoke rims for the streets. So very nice track specific uh, spec. They do have a Z06 on order. Um, so this is just their cruiser to hold them off until that one comes around. And we've gone with a black finish. Like I was mentioning, the color name is black. There is no um, name for it. Even the interior has a different name. It's jet black. So very interesting, um, nice, reasonable build. This is gonna be a cool track car and we're gonna be putting that track preparation package that we do on it as well. Now, getting over to my vehicle, I have some very exciting news to pass along. I am getting married and I'm going on a honeymoon and part of my honeymoon because of the shutdown is now gonna be driving across the country. Uh, we don't know exactly where we're going to be going at this exact moment, but I am getting ready to get my Corvette ready for this road trip. And some of the accessories are in this cool Jake logo box. And then I have some other ones that I'm going to be putting on, on the side. And then I also have the 5VM exposed carbon fiber package for that rapid blue one that was in last week. I unwrapped part of it just so that you could see part of it. The box weighs more than this component. I actually didn't even think that there was anything inside of it. And it wasn't until I looked at the checklist on the side that the individual signed off on that uh, I knew that there was something in there. I was just joking, it, it, it weighs next to nothing. So the packaging alone weighs more. And then these rocker panels in this sunset right now, um, this exposed carbon fiber is something else. Like I can pick it up with ease with just one hand and look at that, how cool is that? Now the secondary color on my Corvette is uh, carbon flash metallic so i would not be putting on these but i will be putting on either the acs composite version or the gm version whichever one comes first i'm going to put on first in my vehicle um, because i do want to have something there but the color that i'm looking for is that carbon flash metallic paint um, on top of that i do have my rocker panels a lot of you guys were commenting about um, the rocker panels with the illuminated feature so i did go to the parts store there were some that were available to be shipped overnight and so I just picked them up uh, this morning and I am gonna be installing them on mine. These are them right here. Um, it does come with the Stingray logo, which is very appropriate because I do have a Stingray. Um, very interesting to find out that it is battery operated. So there is no internal uh, electronic hookups that you need to worry about in there. It is something that you can do with just uh, relative ease in terms of install. And uh, it's not blue, that's just a protective covering on there. Uh, I'm excited to get these done sooner than later because I want to keep these if I ended up selling them so that the second owner will have a fresh set of sill plates that do not have any damage on it. So uh, just like I do with the mats, I normally order two sets of mats when I'm uh, building a vehicle for myself just because then when I'm passing it on to the next owner, they have a brand new set of mats for themselves. And same with the sill plates. Stuff happens. I don't want to have to pass on this vehicle with damaged sill plates if I ever do sell it. And so if I replace these and have these original ones that are in immaculate condition, then I'm good to go. So there are some exciting accessories that we have going on these vehicles. And the last one that I have in here to get ready for the road trip is in this very cool Jake logo box. Right over here, I have uh, mats. So the mats for this Corvette are very cool. They also have the Jake logo on it. So this is gonna go for the frunk. And then on the back of the trunk, you have those two little pockets. And then even further than that, you have this as well that has um, the little dip in for the rear trunk component. So very nice. They conform to the sides. They're a nice thick material. I'm not going to lose too much trunk space with the thickness here, but I do like the fact that they conform to the sides because if there was, for example, something that did spill, I'm not going to have my carpet in there get wrecked. So I'm very excited to have these in here because if I'm going golfing and my cleats have some stuff on them, I can easily just have the cleats in here and not have to worry about it. And even further than that, they've got these little tabs on the side here that I can pull it out and just easily clean that. So some cool accessories that we're putting on my Corvette, getting ready for the road trip. We'll have more details about that in, in a few videos. I have some exciting stuff going on this one now. So stay tuned for some more awesome videos. And on the way out, if you can hit the subscribe button, that'd be awesome. Thanks a lot for watching. I'm Morgan Crosby. Happy motoring.